I like most dog owners, she considers her dog Maggie to be her baby, and tonight she is lucky her beloved pet is alive. And Maggie's lucky too, after it was viciously attacked by a deer in her Oak Bay backyard. The doe was protecting a newborn fawn, and as CTV's Louise Hartland shows us, conservation officers are warning you, pet owners and parents, to keep your distance. Barbara is delicately cradling her dog Maggie after the unthinkable happened Saturday night. It was very scary, and uh, it was very traumatic, a very traumatic experience to have to watch. She says Maggie was almost trampled to death by a doe that had jumped the fence and became agitated when the dog got too close. So was it the, the hooves, the front hooves that were hitting it, or could you? Um, that? it was the front hooves, and she was headbutting it, her as well. No, Maggie well, managed to get back to the to house to just in time. The injuries ended up to be quite extensive. Um, she had a few broken ribs, a broken sternum, and an abdom abdominal hernia. Conservation officer Peter Powell says it may seem shocking, but this kind of behavior is typical this time of year when a doe is protecting a fawn. Well, they can easily kill small dogs uh, and, and other small animals. They're using usually they're using their front hooves and sometimes butting with the head as well. But the hooves are, are quite sharp, and there's a lot of force when they when they come down with them on an animal. In 2010, this YouTube video of an aggressive doe attacking a dog in Cranbrook went viral. Barbara says she didn't realize there was a fawn in her yard until after the dust settled. It made its uh, little bed in this patch of weeds here, un unbeknownst to us. Mm -hmm. Barbara lives in a busy Oak Bay neighborhood with lots of kids running around. Although it is rare, Powell says parents should keep an eye on their children for the next month or so to make sure they are not getting too close to fawns. So that means if you have a doe in your yard, you know there's one around, it's probably going to be giving birth shortly if it hasn't done so already, so you, people need to be aware. We can't really prevent these things from happening, but we can, if people are aware, they can take proper precautions. After a $2,300 vet bill, Barbara says she is just happy Maggie is okay. She's nine and a half years old, and uh, yeah, when, they, when they've been with you that long, they are part of your life, and you don't want to see them suffer like that. And she says from now on, she will always look to see what could be lurking in her backyard before she lets the dog out.